Hello everyone, Fred here. Boy, it's been a long time since I've done a video out here. Uh, I took a little, little bit of a breather. Needed to take a break from YouTube, get it regrouped on home life and things around here. Uh, there's a lot of stress around here. Um, had a death in the family last week. Uh, th that was kind of leading up the last couple months. That we knew that was going to happen, and uh, it's just very stressful. A couple other things going on around here that um, just really pulled me away from from YouTube and the whole weight loss uh, scene. So it's time to re regroup, refocus, get back on track, and that's what I'm doing. Um, as far as my weight right now, I actually put on a couple pounds in the last three months. I put on 10 pounds, which I'm not happy to say, but I must say that would have been a lot worse had I not had surgery. Um, you know, when you got crap in the house to eat, that's what you're going to eat and unfortunately this house was full of the wrong foods so what we've done my wife and I have decided to get back on track get rid of all of the unhealthy foods and start over so we actually clean out the refrigerator and uh, I'm just I'm loading up regrouping like I said uh, I'm going back to low carb I actually went down to see my surgeon on Friday for a fill. I had an appointment, and actually met a new surgeon down there. His part, uh, Dr. Curry's new partner down there, and uh, I must say he's probably one of the most motivational doctors I've ever met in my life. Um, he, I forget his name. I'm going to have to look his name up again. But he weighed over 300 pounds. He showed me some pictures. Got a lap band himself. And he's well under 200 pounds now and totally ripped. And when I mean ripped, this dude, you could never tell that he was overweight. And very motivational. I mean, um, wanted to really talk to me in depth on why I was struggling. Um, reassured me that uh, me overeating wasn't a problem of, it wasn't my problem. It was his problem and this was his responsibility to make sure this lap band is working properly and functioning as as designed so it was very nice to be able to talk to him and um, put things in perspective on whose who's, uh, issues or who's to deal with I guess is what I'm trying to say so he wanted me to make sure that I'm eating the right things and let him deal hit let him be responsible for the quantities and making sure that I'm getting the right quantities of food in the pouch and making sure that pouch is full to you know what it's designed to do which is great because prior to my fill on Friday I could eat just about anything um, that I chewed well so I don't care what it was um, even except for rice I, I've always struggled with rice and white bread and that was still an issue but I don't care if it was meats uh, whole grain pastas like a lasagna, um, steaks. If I chewed it well, it was going through the pouch. So I knew I was ready for a fill. And uh, I actually don't know what my fill level is right now. Dr. Curry didn't record it last December when I was there. That's the last time I was in for a fill. And he put in one cc on Friday. So I think I'm somewhere around eight and a half to nine and a half cc's right now in a 14 cc band. So I'm getting there, and I am tight. I mean, there's definitely restriction now. I cannot take in more than like two sips of water before I start to feel it. So there's definitely more restriction now, and I really like it. Um, since Friday, today is Wednesday. <laughs> I had to think about that. Today's Wednesday, and I've lost seven pounds already since Friday. So the weight has just fallen off, which is great. I'm drinking my water. I'm having at least eight to ten glasses of water a day, so I make sure I get in my 64 ounces. Eating protein first. I'm having a protein shake for breakfast, and based on what I talked to the this doctor down there, he absolutely didn't want me to have protein shakes, and that's because they're slider slider calorie foods. And right now, I really like shakes in the morning. For some reason, I've always liked the shake in the morning. It, yeah, it doesn't fill me up like, you know, it's going to stay in your pouch. But um, I usually have a, a half a glass of um, skim milk. And I even put in some water just to give me the volume. 
and that seemed to have always worked well in making me full in the mornings but he actually did tell me never have a shake again so I'm gonna try to get to that point but I'm not there yet I still like my shakes in the morning he recommended and what he does is have um, protein bars he'll drink about uh, he said you know a 10 ounce glass of water and then right after his water he'll wait about five minutes and have a protein bar and the protein bar sits in the pouch and then you know it trickles down your stomach over about the next hour or so he says that's what he wants me to do so that's where I'm trying to get to I'm not there yet though and the other restriction he said never have bread or pasta again so that's the rough one um, he actually told me some, something else which was pretty cool and I've never had somebody tell me what my ideal weight is yet and he said um, his question to me was what's your ideal weight where do you want to see yourself and I said I would love to see myself around 240-250 pounds He's, he looked at me like I was absolutely crazy and he said he wanted to see me under 200 pounds now I about fell out of my chair because I don't ever remember being under 200 pounds I was probably under 200 pounds maybe in fifth or sixth grade so that was absolutely something that just blew my mind when he told me that so that really gives me a goal to shoot for I've never really had that ultimate goal on what I want to hit so I guess I'm going to shoot for 195 190 is my ultimate goal um, you know that's just way out there I, I'm, as you can tell I'm just baffled anyway <clears throat> moving on I think that's just a little bit of update for me um, I don't know if I've set my weight yet uh, I started out at 432 pounds that was pre-surgery pre-op today I weighed 365 so I'm still down around 67 pounds maybe almost 70 pounds which is good I feel great but I've got such a long way to go and uh, it's nice outside today so I'm gonna go outside get in my exercise out there today it's starting to warm up here in northeastern Ohio it's supposed to hit maybe 65 which is a big change can't wait get out and do some walking uh, get out of the house but that's my goal for this week and I'm going to start doing weekly videos I'm not sure what day yet Wednesday seems to be a good day. Maybe we'll do these on Wednesdays um, and get back in a groove with things. I, I need YouTube for accountability. I really liked it. Kept on track. I miss doing the collab channels. Um, if you haven't subscribed to them, Proof Way Out Surgery Works and 700 Pounds. I miss all you guys. Um, I'm just getting back into the videos. I just watched about three or four this morning. Looks like you guys are doing all a great job out there on the collab channels and. Uh, We'll start getting back in touch with everyone so to all the new subscribers thank you for subscribing I've been seeing some occasional subscribers out there subscribing so um, won't let you down we're back on track Fred Bears here and here to stay so talk to you later bye bye